Come Mercy, look at how the time goes. Welcome everybody to this episode of the Coming Home Podcast Seems with John so Allen. Today is a, another solo Saturday with me, your host, John Allen. Solo Saturday for the 4th of July, 2020. Yes, here we are. Well, I tell you, uh, if I don't have the most fantastic wife and our two kids, uh, they... Um, They've been working pretty much all day, uh, getting my garage uh, set up. You know, I already have my my uh, equipment out there, so I can continue my training, my powerlifting training. So I already have it out there. But they're just putting the fi- the the final touches, the little the little touches of love that I need for my my uh, little training area out there. Uh, I had the babies out there painting the wall. Uh, my favorite color, red. There's a lot of strength in red, so they've painted the wall red. I'm going to put a little um, finishing touches on that later. Maybe next weekend I'm going to write a few little slogans that I can stare at as I'm sweating, uh, slogans that can motivate me. Um, You know, we've got the floor mats uh, laid down and everything. I've got all the great powerlifting equipment. I tell you, there's a a little deal in the works here with... uh, the company that provided me with this uh, powerlifting equipment. I can't say who they are yet, but when things fall into place, believe you me, I'm going to promote uh, that company and my uh, cooperation with them as much as I can. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a platform. And as I always like to say, uh, if no one is going to, pr- or if anyone is going to promote me, it might as well be me because who else is going to do it? So when that deal falls into place, I will, uh, Shout it from the mountaintops. You people will be the first to know. Um, so, yeah, they, uh, they're they getting my little space ready. I tell you, I've done the best I, I can. Uh, I've kept focus on my health during this uh, COVID-19 crisis where here in Norway, as it's been in several other countries, including back home in the United States, where the gyms have been closed. So I started out uh, doing my own little you know, routine with some... Uh, bands, you know, rubber, rubber, uh, tension, rubber resistance bands, uh, some body weight exercises and things like that. But, uh, but, uh, but again, now that I have the proper powerlifting equipment, now I can properly train for powerlifting. And, um, <laughs> now my sister has made fun of me before because I say I'm going to go train and I'm not trying to be a douchebag when I say I'm going to go train, but, but I, I, I do believe there's a difference between working out and training. You know, the average Joe, um, nah, that sounds demeaning. Uh, a person who is non-competitive, if they're not competing in a specific sport, uh, when they do things to better their health, they are working out. Um, but when you are um, competitive, you know, I am a competitive powerlifter. Many people are powerlifters, but Not all powerlifters are competitive powerlifters. And I truly believe that when I am in the gym uh, uh, performing those movements that I need to, uh, to, to, to practice on and all of the supplement supplemental exercises and movements that I need to build on those main movements that are the three main power lifts, which is squat, bench and deadlift. When I am doing that in order to compete, I am training training, not working out. I'm not trying to make myself sound elitist or anything, but I do believe there is a difference. Um, for me, when I, when I train, it's, it's, it's all business. I mean, I have fun doing it. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love powerlifting. I love training for powerlifting. It's a, it's a therapeutic process. Uh, it's, it's a cleansing of the, of the body, mind, and spirit. And I say that uh, with, with literal intentions of using those words. Uh, Quite literally, it's a, it is a cleansing of body, mind, and spirit for me. Uh, so I love I love powerlifting, and uh, to be able to be in this position where I have the proper equipment to do that is is a blessing. I can never, I just cannot allow myself to get in a situation ever again where I cannot train the way I want to because the gyms are closed. I just cannot let that happen. So, uh, yeah, so I'm back at it. Uh, <laughs> I'm very motivated. I was watching, uh, uh, this is going to sound crazy. I was watching King Kong. 
Now, here, here's the mind of an athlete now. I was watching King Kong, the, tw- the 2005 version, the one with Jack Black. Uh, great, uh, great role for Jack Black, by the way. Um, but I, I was looking at that, and I tell you, the, 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 the digital animation or whatever you want to call it, however, you know, the, the way they made King Kong look, <laughs> it's, 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 it's motivating. Uh, if, uh, I mean, can you imagine what King Kong would be able to squat or deadlift or bench? <laughs> so I look at that guy, I look at him swinging around and doing the things that he does. And that scene where he, uh, beat the living daylights out of those three, uh, T-Rexes killed them all. Um, and it kind of got me, I don't know, kind of got me pumped up. Kind of got me pumped up and ready to train tomorrow. It sounds crazy, but that's the mind of an athlete. Uh, at least this one, this athlete. I get my motivation wherever I, wherever I can. In other words, I don't resist when the motivation comes. Uh, so I got motivated watching that movie here uh, today. Um, I had my feet up on the couch just chilling while Snoop and the babies were out there uh, preparing my, my, uh, my torture den my training locale, if you will. But, uh, but hats off to them. Hats off to them being the great uh, family members that they are uh, doing that work for me, painting the walls and arranging things out there. So, oh yeah, you know what? I want to try, I want to try and continue uh, in this uh, solo Saturday tradition that I have. You know, I think I told you guys before these solo Saturdays will be me just riffing, just, you know, talking, just, uh, you know, totally unscripted, just me saying what's on my mind. And for the first few solo Saturdays, you know, I was, uh, you know, if we go back to episode 28 and then, uh, at least the one solo Saturday episode after episode 28, I was kind of focused on, uh, the social situation back home you know, all of this with the protests and whatnot. And I don't want people to just hear those solo Saturday episodes and think, oh my gosh, this is what his podcast is all about. You know, my podcast is about that, but it's also about so many other things. Um, I don't know if you listen to my, to my other episodes and you see my guests that I've invited in, uh, I see at least that there is a thread, a, a common thread that's going through all of those episodes. Uh, I've been talking with people. I've been talking with these guests, and they all have um, they have something to offer the listener, uh, not in a preachy way, but but maybe as 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 an example. I mean, you know, they've they've had a, a path towards success. Or maybe they've had a path through adversity that that hasn't necessarily landed them in this this uh, bright and shiny uh, place of success. But it's it's a, it's a journey. It's um it's a path that uh, all of these uh, guests that I have are are walking that is leading them or possibly others towards a better place. You may not have landed yet in that better place, but there's a path there. So that's kind of the gist of my podcast, the, the coming home podcast with John Allen. Uh, I try to get people on that, that mode, or, or I do get people on that motivate me and, uh, inspire me, uh, in some way, people that I admire in some way, or people who I am interested in, in some way. Uh, <laughs> now everybody, now all of my guests are thinking, Oh my gosh, he uh, may not admire me, but he may think I'm interesting. No. So <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know, one of those, aspects has to fall into place for me to invite a guest on or to, to, to have a guest on. And I hope that my listeners, I hope that you, the audience, um, see that element of motivation or inspiration, uh, or that you could possibly come to admire, uh, certain aspects about these guests that I've invited on. Some of them are, are, are friends of mine, new friends, old friends. Some of them I have never met before uh i just discovered them so to speak something about them i came across maybe on social media or in the news or in the newspaper or something that interested me so i contacted them and asked them to come on so that kind of gives you guys a little bit of a background on what my podcast is all about it's not just these solo rants on saturdays uh these solo saturdays are kind of me just uh 
<laughs> taking the opportunity to be uh, alone on the mic on my platform saying what I want to say. Um, I also use it to promote what's coming up uh, in, the, in, the, in the week to come uh, or in the week that follows these, these solo Saturdays. <clears throat> uh, I can tell you that tomorrow I have, uh, I'm not going to tell you their names yet. I'm just going to let you listen tomorrow. Uh, Sunday's episode for tomorrow, the 5th of July, I'll be posting that at one minute after midnight Norway time, which is actually one minute after 6 PM in the, in the East coast in the United States. Uh, but that episode is going to be where I have three ladies who, who, who are all three, my guests at the same time. Uh, and we're going to be talking about something that I believe can be very interesting for males and females, uh, both. Uh, I believe that um, both genders will be able to learn something from this episode. You may be able to identify with it. You may not. And if you don't identify with it, you can at least learn something. So check out this episode coming up on Sunday, one minute after midnight Norway time, one minute after 6 p.m. East Coast in the United States. And I said gender. Does that mean uh, controversy? Hmm. Tune in and find out. Uh, coming up on Wednesday of this coming week, what, what is the date? I believe that's the 8th. Yeah, that's the 8th of July coming up. Uh, there will be another, uh, pre-recorded episode that I recorded just a couple of days ago out here on my porch. Uh, it was a rather interesting, uh, weather phenomenon throughout the course of that episode that you'll be hearing on Wednesday, the 8th of July. Throughout the course of that, it started with uh, bright sunshine, and then all of a sudden, uh, uh, it was still bright sunshine and blue skies, but hail, big old, uh, maybe half the size of a golf ball, hail started falling down. Uh, and then after that, it started pouring down rain, and then the sun came back. So it was a rather dynamic uh, weather system that was passing over as we were doing that episode outside on my porch under a, under a big tent, like a big, um, yeah, a big tent <laughs> covering uh, the entire porch. So that episode is coming up with my, uh, and that's with my good friend, Bob Eknamati, uh, a great uh, stand-up comic, uh, well-known here locally and in, in this region of Norway. Uh, this guy uh, eventually is going to be known all over the country, uh, and hopefully I will be known all over the country along with him. Uh, we're trying to make this happen. I tell you, this uh, COVID-19 situation kind of got in the way, but our plan was for this summer that we were going to be traveling uh, at least within this southeastern region of Norway doing our uh, respective stand-up acts together. We would trade off. One night I would open for him. Next night he would open for me. That was the plan for this summer, but now all of that has been put on hold. My goal of um, being able to record um at least audio record, but but uh, the plan was also video to video record my own one hour um, show, a solo show. Maybe I would have someone open for me, but I would do one hour on stage, uh, and that was supposed to happen coming up in December. Uh, I guess it could still happen, but I think these months I've had what four months of pretty much no stand-up at all. I've been doing some writing the whole time, but four months of no stand-up at all. And I just, uh, you know, now I've had a couple of shows uh, the, in the last couple of weeks. But, uh, uh, yeah, you know, you, you, you start with, uh, you start trying to, to, to perform some new material and you're just not very steady on your legs yet. <laughs> you're still a little, you're, you're a little rusty. Uh, at least I am. And I just don't feel comfortable with planning on doing a one-hour special on uh, in in December, and I have no uh, no regrets for pushing that ahead of me. I'm I'm actually going to push it ahead a whole year and say December 2021 I will be filming my own one-hour special, and I have no regrets for that. It's not like a downfall or anything. It's just an adjustment of my plan. Um, yeah, that's just the way it is. I'm just adjusting my plan. So there's no no downfall there whatsoever. None whatsoever. Um, so that's kind of what's happening on uh, the stand-up front. <laughs> Boy, did I bomb. Oh, I bombed last week. Um, 
But uh, hey, that's what happens when you try a new material. You know, you try out that new material, you, it either works or it doesn't. If it works, you keep it and you, you kind of, uh, you know, do the, the, the fine tuning and the, the small adjustments to make it even better. Uh, but if it bombs, you know, then I am faced with two choices. Uh, do I admit <laughs> to myself that that particular bit or that particular piece of material was worthless and I should throw it out? Or... Was it something in my presentation? Was it something in my, um, the way I worded myself uh, that, that, uh, that needs to be fixed? You know, in other words, is there potential in that piece of material? And that's why I don't mind bombing. I love that discovery of whether or not a particular stand-up bit is going to work or whether it's not going to work and it should be thrown out or whether it didn't work but it can work with a little more adjustment, a little more practice, a little fine tuning. I love that process. It, it is a, um, it's an extremely creative process. So uh, can you tell I love stand up? I'm still relatively new at it, but boy, do I love it. I absolutely love doing it. Um, some people have been asking me what's going on with the music there, John, are you, uh, have you thrown that to the wayside? Well, my answer is no, I have not thrown that to away i uh, am still quite active with my music constantly writing i got a new gig to write and uh to write an album with some uh yeah i don't want to call them a super group but they are all a bunch of uh, individual musicians who are now banding together uh to do a project um i guess you could call it a side project for all of them but um that's real exciting some good friends of mine one of them is a long term, uh, a long time uh, songwriting partner. So that's going to be fun working on that. But uh, up in all of that, I am still working on my own uh, solo music, constantly coming up with ideas. I think every day I pull out the old, uh, the old iPhone there and uh, sing something into my dictaphone or hum something or, or type in some new lyrics or something. Uh, every day that happens. Uh, as you all know, as I've said before, you know, the death of my son got in the way of, uh, of, of my, my current solo project. So I'm a little bit behind on that, but again, just like it is with my plans for stand up, I do not look at it as a downfall. It's just an adjustment in my plans. Uh, eventually uh, a full album will come out. I have four singles. I'll probably throw out a, uh, uh, oh, that sounds so terrible. I won't throw them out. I will, <laughs> I will create from the depths of my soul, new musical pieces to be released as singles. Let's say that. I don't throw out singles. I create singles, and I will put them out for your consumption. Uh, maybe two more singles <clears throat> before the uh, final album is put together and released. I do not have a rela release date. Uh, I don't want to do that to myself. Um, I don't want to do that to you. And, you know, you're expecting uh, an album release on this date and then it doesn't happen. Um, wow. You know what? A little self-realization there. Am I a coward? Is that why I haven't put a date on this? Huh. Am I, did I use the death of my son and these crazy COVID days as an excuse to kind of put that project, that my solo music project to the side? Hmm. Should I challenge myself and come up with a date for the release of that album? Okay, let me think on that. Maybe I will have something to say about that. Um, yeah, maybe I'll have something to say about that next Saturday. Um, but anyway, that project has been pushed aside for now uh, as far as the release date, but I am still working at it. And the more I work on music, uh, the better I get at it. Um, the more I work, just like it is with stand up, the more I do it, the more often I do it, the more I write, the better I get. So to find something positive in these, these fractured plans that I had for that album release, I am becoming a better songwriter. I am becoming a better uh, musician. Uh, although the musicianship thing is a challenge because of this uh, messed up shoulder that I have. Uh, I've talked about that before, seven, eight, nine. I don't know how many operations on this shoulder I've had, but the most recent one was in May of last year, and it was a doozy. They really chopped me up and uh, filleted me like a fish and uh, did, uh, <laughs> did 
did what they had to do, some rather complex things in my shoulder. And because of that, it actually makes it difficult to play the piano, it makes it very difficult to sit over a longer period of time and play the piano or uh, the guitar or, or bass. So that is a huge challenge. Um, amazing to, to realize how physical how physical it is actually to uh, to sit and play an instrument. Uh, and I didn't really, I never really thought about that until uh, these shoulder problems, more specifically until this last, most recent shoulder surgery. So uh, quite a few interesting discoveries along the way here. But um, in honor of a request by Miss, uh, I started to say this earlier um, when I first started uh, blabbing along here. Uh, but uh, uh, this is when I was when I kind of went off on a tangent and started talking about uh, what my podcast is all about. But what I wanted to to say uh, originally was that in honor of Miss Diane Yvonne Zalingo, uh, my good friend from uh, high school back in Ohio, uh, she uh, she kind of suggested that I use my platform, not necessarily my podcast, but just use my voice, my 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 platform to be a source of calm, a source of peace, a source of steadiness in all of these crazy uh, chaotic times. So what I was going to say was in honor of her, I'm not going to talk about the social, social situation back home. I'm just not going to do it. So um, if I'm not going to do that, what am I going to say? Wow. I guess I've already said it. You know, these uh, solo Saturday episodes are supposed to be short and sweet, just a quick, uh, uh, a quick moment where I check in on you and, and let you know what I've been doing and what's coming up. So what I've been doing is getting back into my powerlifting training. Uh, and what's coming up is the two great episodes coming on Sunday and Wednesday. I guess I'm in a position of luxury. I have, um, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to sound arrogant, but I'm not, uh, I don't have to stress to find guests to be on my podcast. Um, you know, the episode coming up on Sunday and the one coming up on Wednesday are pre-recorded. Uh, in other words, they're in the vault. I actually have a vault. I have an excess, uh, of, of episodes. So, uh, I think that's a good position to be in because I never want to stress with this podcast. Um, and it would be a challenge if I couldn't find a guest for Sunday or for Wednesday. And then I would feel that pressure of having to fill up an hour, hour and a half uh, long episode alone. I, I could do that, uh, but that's a lot. <laughs> I, would, I think that would be a lot of work. Uh, I don't think I have that much to say for that amount of time. And I guess I feel a certain amount of pressure because um, I checked my numbers and my podcasts are averaging about 95 minutes. So I think I would feel uh, like something was missing if I came on alone on a Sunday or Wednesday without a guest and then I didn't do at least an hour and a half or, you know, an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so. I think I would feel like something was missing. I feel like I would, like my listeners were being let down. So um, how's that for a lot of stress and pressure that one puts on oneself? And by one, I mean me. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think I'm going to let you guys go now. I think I'm going to go and uh, peek out uh, into the garage and see how Snoopy and the babies are coming with my uh, <laughs> with my project. It's good to have some... Uh, yeah, well, you know, I don't want you guys to think I'm totally heartless. I am. Uh, pay this is a job that the kids, the babies, are getting paid for to paint the wall and all that stuff. So... Uh, I'm not heartless. I'm not a cruel, uh, a cruel, uh, you know, 18th century uh, industrial revolution boss. That I am not. So uh, I think I'm going to go out there. I'm going to check on them. I'm going to fire up the grill. We're going to have some uh, some good protein here. Uh, get myself nice and stuffed with uh, some good energy that I can use when I go in the garage and train tomorrow. So how's that sound? I, it sounds good to me. I hope it sounds good to you. Uh, thanks for checking in on me. Thank you for following the Coming Home Podcast with John Allen. Uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions, any desires, any feedback you want to give me, you can go in on my website, johnallenpod.com. That's J-O-H-N-A-L-A-N-P-O-D.com. J-O-H-N-A-L-A-N-P-O-D.com. 
com, johnallenpod.com. Go in there, and from there on the, the, the homepage, you can see all of the different icons for Facebook, for Spotify, for um, YouTube, uh, for Instagram. You can go to all of the places where you can find me on my uh, individual uh, artist pages and uh, drop me a message. Uh, see what's going on. Uh, comment these podcast episodes that are posted. Um, let me ask you this: What do you guys think of the bookend music? Uh, that's me singing one of my, my one of my singles that I've released. It's going to be on an upcoming album. The song is called "Coming Home," so it fits. How about that? It's called "Coming Home." I wrote that song. Uh, I wrote all the lyrics, and my friend, my good songwriting friend uh, Henning Remy, uh, wrote the music. I changed the melody up a little bit. He had written that melody to be. Uh, uh, a good uh like a country rock kind of song and i changed it up to put a little bit more soul into it uh, so the melody has changed a little bit but the original idea is from my good friend henning uh, what do you guys think of that song uh, let me know what you think if you want to hear that song go in on my spotify again you can find my spotify link on my website and find my song coming home let me know what you guys think so how's that for self-promotion Enough of that. 26 minutes of that. Well, all right, people. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you again soon. Check out my episodes coming up on Sunday and Wednesday. Bye, everybody. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Yes, I am. Oh,